Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Welcome to Eddie. This is the first time Ridge and Scout have been in the trailer together. I thought I would make a video showing you how I actually built the bed that we're on, the bed frame, and um, the slide out kitchen that goes underneath it. Um, I'm going to kind of explain uh, how all that works. And is there room enough for me and the Vishlas? Uh, Scout and Ridge are Hungarian Vishlas. Scout is 10 years old, Ridge is 9. There's a reason why Scout shows up in a lot of my videos and Ridge does not. Do not let this calm demeanor fool you. Ridge is nine years old and he has the energy of a puppy still. So um, it will be interesting to see if there's room for three of us in this small trailer, let alone sleeping on a twin mattress, which I'm on. This is the one that I had in my truck camping adventures. It's a four inch memory foam. Uh, behind me is the one that just came in the mail from Amazon. It's an eight inch um, twin memory foam. So. Um, trying that to uh, this one here did not hold up well it's really um, kind of flat and uh, you know what they're just cheap ones so um, you get what you pay for I guess so we'll see uh, we see how it lasts and we'll see if um, there is room enough for Scout Ridge and I on a twin mattress in Eddy so stay tuned so let's start with the location of the slide out kitchen it's at the back side of the trailer passenger side I've had this temporary door on here since I built it. This little piece of styrofoam has been temporary and this two by four and the two by two at the bottom um, will be removed for this slide. The reason I decided not to go with drawer slides is because the longest ones I could find were 60 inches and I wanted to utilize the entire width of the trailer. For my slide out, I decided to resurrect an idea that I came up with years ago for my truck camping setup. Trying to be as efficient as possible, I realized I could slide chain link fence poles into each other because they were different diameters. And they'd be stored on the roof rack of my truck and when I got to camp, they would slide out and they would make a perfect frame for my tarp while camping out of the back of my truck. So I started with inch and a half galvanized chain link fence poles. So the 2x4 at the back of the trailer had inch and a half holes cut into it. And I switched the blade on my drill for inch and a quarter, which is the smaller diameter galvanized poles that would slide into the inch and a half poles. And I would attach these poles to a 2x4 in a very similar fashion.
I don't recommend cutting poles this way, but I'm getting pretty comfortable with my jigsaw. So the two by four that's holding the inch and a half poles in will be secured to that location against the wall. And this two by four holding the inch and a quarter pipes will slide in and out. The slide out kitchen will be attached to this two by four and the three quarter inch plywood that the kitchen is built on top of will slide on top of the inch and a half pipes. Here's a sneak peek of the future slide out kitchen. So once I got the three quarter inch plywood cut and I was comfortable with what I had, uh, it was time to start framing in the bed. So I'm starting to frame in where the bed's going to be. And this will be bed height. On top of this, we'll be going some plywood. And right here, I'm going to be framing in the front of the cabinet. There'll be some two by four stringers here to support the bed. I moved the bed height up a bit. Originally I was going to put it here for a variety of reasons. I moved it up a little bit and I will utilize the extra space. There'll be probably about eight inches and I might be able to uh, have some storage underneath the plywood. A um, couple of different reasons for doing that I'll explain as we go along. So I considered um, a few different things of how I was going to run the 2x4 uh, joist across, but I'm going to use joist hangers and I'm going to run them um, every 16 inches on this 2x4. So I'll be hanging them basically on the other side here, give you an idea. 2x4s will hang in there with screws, these in there. These are super strong and I won't have to put any more supports under the um, 2x4s. So we're going to go, this is 48 inches. So we'll have four total of four of them and this covers 80 inches, um, which and I'm using half inch plywood. So that will be plenty strong to support that. And I may have um, these 16 inch gaps, may have them lift up to access some storage under there. I'm not sure about that yet.
This may not be a conventional method of doing this, but I find it easy. Just drill in some pilot holes on top of the two x four and then use three inch wood screws to go through there. Um, the hole is a little bit bigger than the head of the screw, so it countersinks nicely into the wood. So here is the final product that's half inch plywood on top of the 2x4 frame. Underneath are the inch and a half galvanized poles. In this location here, the slide out kitchen will have a, um, a stovetop grill and a drawer. And I want to be able to access that drawer without getting out of the trailer. So the beauty of this is this will be a door right here. And if I want to use the grill or I want to access the drawer that has the cooking utensils and that sort of thing, I will be able to access it inside the trailer um, if I just want to make a simple meal on the countertop. So that is what that's for. Um, again, these are all works in progress, but I'm taking you along for the journey. Hope you've enjoyed the video. So as far as living in a 7x12 foot trailer with two vishlas, I'll leave you with this clip to make your own conclusions. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Okay, you can come here now. All right. Okay. 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 We need you to just stay right here. Okay. Okay. Just get rid. Okay. I want you to sit there. Okay. This is why you don't come on trips. Okay. No, this is why you don't come on trips. Yeah, this is why you don't come. Okay, can we look at the camera? Okay, Rich, just sit. Okay, good boy. Stay right, stay right there. Just sit. Stay right there. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. Richard, stay. 